Red Dragon keyboard. It really caught my eye because it didn't really have too many buttons and stuff like that. It was just a nice basic keyboard and just to show you those guys, I have been using this old piece of shit for a long time. A good history. Like I remember this shit back in 2004. Well to be honest with you, I had two other keyboards in the past and none of them have lasted me longer than two weeks. So I'm gonna give this one a try and maybe find I will be able to get rid of this keyboard. Cable is nice and thick. It has some weight to it. It feels good. Let's plug in and see how it goes. Well, I can tell you about this keyboard is it is nice and plain. I love it. It is definitely you can definitely see see the keys, which is like good. You always want to see the keys, like even when it's like dark inside your room and everything and it doesn't seem to be like too bright oh let's type some stuff so we're gonna go into here oh you cannot see anything but it's alright I'm just gonna be typing shit And I can tap quick like that on a, just a brand new keyboard that I just bought. This is this is amazing, bro. I would recommend this keyboard to anyone. Like, if you're stuck with a shitty keyboard like this for years, because you've been cursed, and every time you buy a new keyboard, you seem to die after two weeks, bro. Get rid of this piece of shit. Get yeah, this nice red dragon keyboard mate and you'll be satisfied man it's small but it's beast still like I'm gonna test this out and I'm gonna show you some clips of doom you'll be right back